Hey guys, Jimmy of Vegas here, and I'm going to answer a question which a lot of new developers to Unity may not know the answer to, but may hear a term bashed around quite a lot, and that is normal map. So what exactly is a normal map? Well, a normal map is essentially a special type of texture which represents grooves and crevices in whatever flat texture that it is applied to. So for example, anything you take from the asset, well, most things you take from the asset store, will have a material attached and it'll include something here called normal map and it'll always look like a bit of a purple square. So it's basically used to give a more 3D effect from a flat 2D image using light. However, that doesn't mean to say that any light and no light can actually have an impact because having, for example, low light or really high light can distort the effect quite a lot. So it has to be refined quite specifically in some cases. So if we take this floor right here, for example, we can already see that there are bumps and lumps on it. Now, if we go to the material and take away the normal map, so completely remove it, we can already see that it just looks like a flat, glossy texture. So that normal map is actually helping look the object uh, help it make it look 3D as opposed to 2D. However, there are things that you can do to the normal map to give a more 3D impact than what it actually is. So if we reapply that normal map to there, you can instantly see just how much it changes. Let's say we want to make it even more 3D. We can actually change how much of that normal map is impacted. So we could change it right here to 2. And you can already see that the 3D effect caused by the light is actually more prominent now because we've increased how strong the normal map is. There's also something else that you can deal with in a normal map and that is called creating from grayscale, which is right here. It generates kind of a height map as well because you can already see how much more prominent these look without the grayscale because we've increased the prominence on the material. So if we were to tick from grayscale and leave the bumpiness to 0.25, it looks really distorted. This is where you have to be careful because light is playing a huge impact when you create from grayscale. So sometimes you have to understand that creating from grayscale is not necessarily the best thing to do because it can distort. But like I said, the ultimate purpose of a normal map is to create that special type of texture which represents that 3D image on a 2D texture. So if we were to go back to the material of this and manipulate this quite low down, so 0.2, you can see again just how much of that grayscale has impacted here. That in this case, we probably should not have that grayscale on, but in some cases you probably should. For example, bricks and rocks might suit the grayscale more. So if we turn off the grayscale and click apply, go back to our uh, material and set the normal map to three, you can see that it's now becoming distorted. And that is again, all because of light. It is light that is causing that distortion. And if we just move the camera a little bit and take a look down, we can see, if I start rotating this now, we can see how kind of odd it looks on the floor. So you just have to be mindful that a normal map can have a detrimental effect to your textures. Just always be sure to set a normal map correctly, like so. Even if it's not quite right, you can always just increase it a little bit. And you can see just by increasing it by 0.5 there really brings out how much of an impact this now looks as opposed to these ones right here. So yes, that is what a normal map is. Basically, in a nutshell, gives a 3D effect using light on a 2D texture. So guys, I hope that's cleared that up a little bit. And if you want to know any more, please leave a comment below. Don't forget, click subscribe, click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything about video game development on my channel. And guys, thank you very much for watching.